Welcome back. It will be a picture perfect weekend ahead to the beach and even more incentive to get to Grand Haven. Merchants and makers hosting their market tomorrow with more than 100 local makers, live music, great food trucks, even better. You can help support a local nonprofit. Welcome to our friend Shia Lyons and Erin Lyons. She's the owner of Kenzie Bees. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. Absolutely. All right, Shia, tell us all about this market, what people can oh, expect. It's going to be a beautiful day. So we have 100 local makers, you can see some of the products here we brought with us. They, um, lots of unique, handmade, high quality products. So we have things varying from plushy toys to home decor to jewelry to candles. We have a little bit of everything. Yeah. So it's really a fun time to come out and support local businesses, handmade by the people who are sitting at the booths and can tell you more about their process, why they make what they make, how it affects their life. It's it's a cool opportunity to support local. Yeah, I would say meeting the artists is really interesting to hear where their inspiration comes from and Absolutely. what the process is like. Mm -hmm. There are some things here that take a lot of time and effort to make. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And then because we, you know we're going to be in this beautiful, picturesque waterfront space, we want you to come and hang out. So we also have um, local food trucks, delicious food. Um, we also have live music, and then we also have drinks. This time we don't usually have alcohol at outdoor markets because you know there's a process to that. But sure. We have a lovely nonprofit to work with, so that helps a lot. All right, so Erin, tell us what you do and, and how people can support you this weekend. Yeah, I'm the executive director of Kenzie's Bee Cafe. We're a nonprofit coffee shop that provides meaningful employment for people with disabilities. And our goal is to provide job training and life skills training and get them a job out in the mainstream market within like a year or two of working with us. We're super excited. We've been um, pulling our special use licenses for special events like this. I mean, this will be our second event with Merchants and Makers. We did the one back in February. It was so much fun. So we're going to have mimosas and Bloody Marys for the morning, slushies for the afternoon. <laughs> We've got beer and seltzers. We're going to have a really good time. Awesome. So are we going to be able to meet some of the baristas? Will they be there as well? They will. We've okay. got a couple helping us work tomorrow. Um, and if you can't meet them there, you can meet them at the cafe. Um, on the east side of Grand Haven at 1103 Washington. You guys are um, one of the newer locations there? We Grand are. We, yeah. Yep, we opened Halloween last year. Okay, wonderful. And, and Shell, why is it so important to do this, mm -hmm. support these local makers, but then it, the, the nonprofit component is such a great thing and you Absolutely. always are doing this. Yes, yeah, so we support a different nonprofit for every market. We love our communities and we want to be involved in our communities. Um, I used to work in social work, so that's kind of my background, but we just want to be able to take what we're doing and provide not only only a place for you to come and shop for really awesome, unique local products, but also support our community at the same time. So we always pick a nonprofit in the community that we're at a market at, or right. where our market is at. Sure. And so um, by coming to the markets, you're also helping support a local nonprofit in the community. I mean, so you can feel good about shopping. You're Absolutely. supporting local artists, supporting local nonprofits. I mean, it Absolutely. is a win-win. It really is. Yeah. And it, to see the joy, like it really does make each maker very joyful every time you purchase a product with them. You know, it's kind of the same thing we always hear, but it's true that when you purchase from a small business, it makes a real difference in someone's life. I love so. that. I and love it keeps that. our money local, which is also important. For sure. And my gosh, it's everything is pretty unique, yes. one of a kind. I mean, stuff you just can't find anywhere. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yes. ladies, thank you so much. So people want to go tell us hours, where they need to be, all yes. the deets. So if anyone's familiar with the old Chinook Pier site in Grand Haven, it's right on the waterfront on Harbor Street. Harbor Drive um, from 9 to 3 tomorrow, Saturday. Um, we'll be there 9 to 3 with all of our makers, live music, food trucks. It'll be a great time. Grand Haven, right as you turn off, you know, the highway onto Jackson, come down Harbor, you'll see us. We're yeah. right there. Can't miss them. You can't we'll miss, us. miss us. Okay, well, ladies, thanks so much for being here and bringing all these fabulous things. There are the details right there, Schnook Pier, Grand Haven. You want more information? I mean, Shiloh does shows all year, all over West Michigan, merchantsandmakers.com. We'll be right back.